Uh, all right, so after about five good hours of hard work, another 2020 specialized bench, ice works. What a beauty. What a beauty. Man, you should see this bike in person. Paint job is. All right, just for lows, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna compare my bench, which is right here, also born last month in the workshop, compared to this one. So my one, I believe, is the smallest size, size 49. And that's the biggest size, size 61. We're gonna reunion. We're gonna a twin it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's it, job done. Good morning, beautiful people. All right, first of all, I want to say thank you guys for the tremendous amount of interest uh, in my recent bike view videos. Um, I guess all of you just sick of me talking. So the B-roll, you know, how I build a bike, very calm. I, I get it. You just don't want to see me talking, I get it. I just want to give you a quick update of this neural loop. Headphones? Earphones? Boom. My initial thoughts about this earphone is, first of all, sound quality wise, superb. Really, really good. Uh, it just, for such a small unit, it's really basic. Just give you a little bit extra energy when you needed it. So hardware wise, no problem. Software wise, firmware, crap. Okay, it's frustrating because, uh, first of all, there is no physical button on these earphones. So when you put it on, it says, welcome back, Nick. Awesome. Uh, when you take it off, it will turn off by itself, right? But it, it appears to me when I take it off, and music's still on. I put it back on, it's on. Take it off, it's still on. So eventually it drained the battery and died, and now I charged it. So that's a bit of, because you can't do anything, just like I said, there's no button. The second thing I want to say is really, really, it's kind of scary because when you are riding, listen to music, and all of a sudden just this like electric, super loud buzzing sound, like eh, but was just a shock to you. And then Bluetooth disconnected. And then a couple seconds later it says, welcome back, Nick, reconnected. Uh, it will happen, I would say, probably a couple of times, every time I go out for a ride, um, it's annoying. We've been waiting for this firmware update. I actually thought about it yesterday. I thought, you know, uh, hopefully after this new firmware update, they, they will fix all the bugs. I don't really care about the double tap. They, they make a double tap increase a more like a function, but I just want you to fix the bug. I just wanted to use the damn earphones. And now ladies and gentlemen, the firmware is out and it's updating. So it says it takes about 20 minutes to do the former updating so we'll see what happens oh another thing is i got my stina here set it up for trainer you spend most of the time on the trainer you kind of like to be able to ride different bikes so that's my og that's my proper trainer bike aluminium frame never now and then i would like to jump on a different bike so what I've done to this bike is I changed the power meter. The 4i power meter is kind of giving me a little bit of issue. And also because it's juice eye power meter, the way 4i designed it, uh, life right separate. They talk to each other, but it is separate. So you have to use two coin batteries. Whereas for every reliable quark, use one battery. It's called a D4. It's pretty much a D04 design for Shimano. So I've got, I've got this one hooked up now. Gonna connect to my computer, firmware update, 
zero calibration and all that. Hello, mister. So this morning I went out for a half an hour, right? There's a new sheriff in town and took three of my KOMs. I went out the other day, got one back, went out this morning, got it back, and my title is this. Uh, I think it's a little bit savage, um, but you know, good to send out a message. Because I think I'm, I'm a pretty competitive person. Uh, it's a beautiful person. It's okay to be competitive. Uh, as, as long as it's quite healthy, friendly, uh, he's not gonna come over here and throw stone at my window. I'm, I'm cool with that. I also check out the guy's uh, profile. He actually has done heaps of like a pretty epic 400 kilometer ride and it looks amazing. So maybe one day we can uh, team up for a ride, hey? Yep, still updating. Oh yeah, so it's just brilliant. Got guys messaging me and say, Hey mate, you know, really enjoy watching you buy few videos. I'm, I'm getting a new frame. Would you be interested in, uh, you know, building it for me? Drop me a comment, send me a message, follow me on Strava, Instagram. I, I would love to help. Yeah, so don't be shy. If you want me to build your bike and you want your bike build video to be featured in my channel, drop me a message. Oh. Good afternoon, beautiful people. Just finished an indoor training session. Showered and ding dong, I got a delivery. <laughs> Guys, I can't hide it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. You wanna see what's inside? You have to wait for the next episode. I'm not even sorry. <laughs> Bye.